Colpus, clinical features, diagnosis and management is the topic of our discussion today. Hematocolpus is a medical condition in which the vagina is pooled with menstrual blood due to multiple factors leading to the blockage of menstrual blood flow. So in fact, the medical definition of hematocolpus is an accumulation of blood within the vagina. It is often caused by combination of menstruation with an imperforate hymen. It is sometimes seen in Robino syndrome, uterus didelphus or other vaginal anomalies. A related disorder is hematometra where the uterus fills with the menstrual blood flow. It presents after puberty as primary amenorrhea, recurrent pelvic pain with a pelvic mass. Hematocolpus can be caused by congenital stenosis of the cervix or by a complication of surgical treatment. Mucometrocolpus is the accumulation of mucus secretion behind the imperforate hymen. Mucometrocolpus can sometimes cause abdominal distension. The symptoms of hematocolpus include on and off, lower abdominal pain lasting more than a week, pain with cramping, vomiting without blood or bile, abdominal bloating and distension, constipation, changes in the urinary output, tender breasts, vaginal bleeding or discharge, severe cyclical pelvic pain and urinary retention. There are four possible causes of hematocolpus, which include imperforate hymen, cervical atresia, vaginal atresia, and transverse vaginal septum. An imperforate hymen is a medical condition where the female is born with a hymen that spans the entire diameter of the vagina with no opening to the outside. An imperforate hymen may be diagnosed at any age. However, when a girl hits puberty, this type of hymen blocks the blood from flowing out and the blood pools inside the vagina. This may cause a sensation of the mass or fullness in the lower abdomen, pain in the stomach and back along with the problems with urinating or bowel movements. Chemical exposure of the vaginal epithelium may lead to the tissue damage up to and including necrosis and swelling or edema. The edematous blockage of vagina results in identical symptomatology as the imperforate hymen. Cervical atresia is a relatively rare Mullerian duct anomaly of the female reproductive tract. Cervical atresia is associated with acute chronic pain in the abdomen or pelvic pain along with other reproductive problems. A significant share of the women with cervical atresia have it since the birth that is congenital cervical atresia. However, cervical atresia is distinct from other Mullerian ducts anomalies. Vaginal atresia is another congenital defect which results in utero-vaginal outflow tract obstruction. Vaginal atresia occurs when the caudal portion of the vagina fails to form and is rather replaced with a fibrous tissue only. Vaginal atresia has three basic categories of anomalies which include vaginal agenesis, ambiguous genitalia, imperforate hymen, sorry, imperforate anus or utero-vaginal sinus variants. The different features associated with ambiguous genitalia which might eventually lead to blockage of the menstrual blood flow or rugal fold over the labia, mass in an apparent labium and excess clitoral tissue. Due to these anomalies, there are chances that menstrual blood would not be able to flow out of the vagina, eventually leading to hematocolpus. Transverse vaginal septum is another medical condition whereby an extra horizontal wall of the tissue that has formed during the embryonal, embryological development creates a blockage in the vagina. Transverse vaginal septum are relatively rare anomalies occurring in about 1 in 70,000 girls. The diagnosis can be made at various ages from neonate presenting with hematocolpus to young women presenting with primary amenorrhea and pelvic pain due to development of hematocolpus. Often, women might have normal hymenal opening, but this wall of the tissue might be blocking the access to the vaginal canal. A small opening in the septum called fenestration allows the menstrual blood to flow out of the vagina. However, it takes longer than the usual menstrual cycle. For the women who do not have fenestration, blood will pool in the upper vagina and this would lead to serious abdominal pain. This also results in infertility. So what is its treatment? As the causes for hematocolpus are diverse, there are different surgical treatment options which would need to be undertaken to cure it. 
surgical interventions for congenital cervical atresia range from complete hysterectomy with a canalization to conservation options such as uterine artery catheterization. For women who have an imperforate hymen, a minor surgery is required in sizing the extra hymenal membrane. It is generally surgically treated with hymenectomy or other surgery to remove any tissue that blocks the menstrual blood flow. Also post-surgery, the patient is required to insert dilators into the vagina for few minutes every day for few days post the surgery to avoid the NCN being closed on its own. So that was something about hematocolpus. Subscribe on Obstant Gynae and follow the Facebook page of On Obstant Gynae.